Hey guys, welcome to another guy's garage. This week, we're turning this into this. That's right, we're getting ready to pull this boat anchor out so we can put that in. Hey, I have another trick for you today. Um, those of you who are running AN lines know that this uh, anodizing material, especially this black, um, can scratch and mar pretty easily. Um, I don't have a collection of AN wrenches. Uh, I don't have enough of them to invest in it. And I have this one. It's a pretty beefy wrench. And I'll be honest with you, it's a good wrench um, and it works, but it is really hard to use in tight spaces. And a lot of times these are in tight spaces. So what I'll do is I'll take PVC tape and I will coat my wrenches with PVC tape. You're probably saying, hey, Tom, why don't, you, uh, why don't you just put on the nut? Well, you know what? When it's exposed, you could just wrap this with tape and you could protect the surface. But in areas where you can't, what I do is I just take the wrench and I cover the jaws. Make sure I get at least two wraps on the surface and it is electrical tape. So go ahead and give it a, give it a tug as you're tightening it. Put one on this side. And again, I want to make sure I cover the entire jaw and I want to wrap. It doesn't have to be pretty. I want to wrap two wraps, pull it a little bit tight. And now I've got a wrench that has PVC on it. And now when I wrap it around my AN nut, I'm on the tape and I'm not on the metal surface. <laughs> Since I'm doing this again, there's a couple things I'm changing. You can see I've got this nice ICT billet bracket on here, but this bolt right here on the power steering pump, I plan on cutting it because it's just enough clearance there and it made getting it uh, assembled a nightmare. Um, and there's an ear on the block from the casting that is in the way of the headers. I'll show you that when I get there. But the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this power steering pump off. And you can see it is a, it is a nightmare if I can get in there. There's a adapter. Let's see if I can get in there sideways. There is an adapter and a bracket, and then it was in the way of the motor mount. The motor mount had to be clearance for everything to fit. I'll show you that again when we get the engine out. started up here and got all the easy stuff out of the way. Now we're getting ready to crawl underneath and get all the dirty work done. I hate these. If anybody's got a solution for this that doesn't involve welding stainless, I would gladly listen. I hate these. This is 
If there's if there's any gas to be had, that was one of the cylinders that was filling up. Uh, which would be what number, Michael? Six. Six. Thanks for correcting me. That's the right. It's been months. You're really taking your time getting that out. Oh, gas is pouring out of the cylinder. Is it really? Yeah. Even still. So it's been sitting in gas oh that whole. Oh my god. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, nice. Well, this one over here should be fun then. At least the rings were sealing. <laughs> yeah, there's all the gas from my cylinder. That's not even the worst one. The worst one was on this side. I guess I need to get something to wait to the 